Well, what do we have here? I finally got around to writing up a, a curriculum for my self-created artificial intelligence master. Artificial intelligence. How do I say that? Artificial intelligence master's degree. And it's on Medium. It's all out there in the world. It's practically a one-stop shop for all of the courses I've done and, and why I'm starting artificial intelligence and why I decided to essentially create my own master's degree rather than go back to university and, and study computer science or something like that. I'm using online courses to to pave my own way and, and I don't know, get somewhere in the future and build some amazing things with artificial intelligence. That's what I want to do. I want to use artificial intelligence as a tool to build some amazing things, to help the world move more, help the world eat better. They're the two things I'm most passionate about. And I think artificial intelligence can help me achieve those goals. So I'll link that article from Medium in the description below. Check it out, give it some love, clap it up, comment, send me an email, Daniel Ivey, CBD Burke, if I can improve it in any way. What have I been up to today? Well, I signed up for a data camp premium membership so I can keep practicing Python programming every day. And so my goal is going to be to spend at least one Pomodoro to one Pomodoro a day on data camp, completing the challenges there, slowly improving my ability in Python. That may change in the future, but it'll stay for that for now. Otherwise, I've been going, today I've been going over my next project in the Udacity Artificial Intelligence Nano Degree. So I went back over lesson seven and eight, which is the intro to game playing as well as advanced game playing. And I've also got a list that's gonna come out. I might do an article as well about these key terms in AI here. I These are all new to me from when I first started. So I figured why not put them in some sort of post and put that out to the world so I can keep myself informed as well as others. And I'll just keep adding to it as I, as I progressively get more terms and whatnot. Really fun. I certainly going over the content a second time is much is has amazing benefits. So the first time if I I didn't it was all new to me, so I didn't really understand it and I had trouble I don't know, I went through and I was sort of getting demotivated because it was so difficult. But now going back over it a second time, it's starting to sit more. It's starting to go in better. I may even go over it a third time, who knows? But the project's due on October third and today is the nineteenth of September. So I've got about two weeks or so before then. So we'll see if we have time to go over it again. But why not? More understanding the better, right? But that's enough study for today. I'm gonna to go work out and we'll we'll be back in Udacity tomorrow. We're gonna to keep going over those same classes. I wanna show you two cool things that I did today. So this morning I started out on Data Camp and as you know in the last clip I signed up for a premium membership but something really cool that they have every day is daily practice. So not only can you sort of go through the courses and learn new skills, but they have an opportunity here to practice your skills every day and keep up the streak. I think that's really valuable. So whenever you're learning something new, it's it's really good to, to blaze through the stuff and learn over it. This is what I do, but I think the mastery of the skill is when you go back over and revise what you've learned and sort of put those skills into practice. So I'm going to aim to keep up my daily streak. I don't know, you'll, you'll see what it is um, as I go along, but I want to get really good at Python programming. So I think this is a great way to start. And one more thing is startup school. So there's some awesome videos on here. You can go to startupschool.org. It's by Y Combinator. So Y Combinator is probably the biggest VC, uh, along with Techstars and other things, biggest VC firm, um, startup incubator over in Silicon Valley. If you're from the Valley or wherever you're from, check it out, startupschool.org. If you want to build some sort of uh, massive online product or, or anything, start a business or whatnot, the lessons available on startupschool.org are valuable even if you don't want to build make a massive internet company like Facebook or Google. And you'll probably find the main lesson from most of the videos is if you do want to build something big, start really small anyway. So I went through, I'm trying to get through all the videos on there um, because there's just so much valuable knowledge and they're probably worth a watch more than once. Um, today I watched How to Get Users and Grow by one of the VPs of growth from Facebook. So where else are you gonna get resources like that? Otherwise, I went through, went back over some classes in the Udacity AI Nano degree, and I'm finding that the second time I'm going through them, I'm understanding them much more than going through them the first time. So again, that's a sort of note to self, note to you guys as well. If, if you go through, I know when I went through it the first time, I didn't really understand the courses that well, but the second time going through them so far, 
I'm, I'm gathering such a deeper understanding, or not a deeper understanding, but at least a little bit more than what I had in the first go, and I'm actually able to answer some of the questions that they're, they're posing in the lectures before they actually go through the answer. So that's a, that's a one upman for me. So tomorrow I'm going to finish off going through those classes again and then plan the next few days and we'll, we'll see what happens. A bit of data camp every day. Actually, I'm going to go run and then I'll clear my head and then I'll be able to plan on what's going on the next few days. So do you know the answer? Which command invokes the method x of the object p? I think it's this one. Let's see. Oh, we got it correct. Woo! So that's just an example of the data camp daily practice skills. Now, of course, uh, I'm still on the intro level to data science for Python. And so they're still extremely basic questions or, well, entry level Python questions. But it's good. I think it's good to revise over it. I've used Anki in the past as well before. But data camp, I believe, like it's psychological because I'm paying for it. And as well as the, the big green flashy lights that you can see, like look at that, look at that big green bootstrap bar. It's sending all these little hits of dopamine throughout my brain. It's like I'm, I'm winning the lottery every time I click continue and, and get, a new, get to a new exercise. So that's what I've been up to today. Uh, not entirely too much study. I had to go get my car fixed this morning. So I finished off the second rev revision of Udacity's Artificial Intelligence Nano Degree Lesson 7 and 8 that I wanted to go through twice. Again, continuing on from what I said yesterday, much deeper understanding going over them again. I may even go over them a third time, I'm not entirely sure, but it is about two weeks until my second project is due. I've got to build an artificial intelligence to play the game Isolation. If you never played it before, check it out on Google. It's relatively simple rules. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So I think that's my next step, is just jumping into the code and I've done enough planning for now and I've gotta start actually writing some things and testing them to, to see how it goes. Oh, and I, I better not forget, I've actually gotta review uh, a paper on artificial intelligence and game playing. So I need to find one of those. If you've got any recommendations, link them in the comments for me. Today I finished the Intermediate Python for Data Science course on Data Camp and I've got two, two courses completed on there so far. As you can see, completed here, I'm working through the Python programming track. I'm about halfway through, I've got two more to go. I think it's the Python Data Science Toolbox Part 1 and then the Data Science Toolbox Part 2. So I'm really loving Data Camp actually. It's, it's really motivating to go through. It's like that hit of dopamine every time you click and they submit on a challenge and you get it right. And the feedback you get if you get it wrong is also really great. And I'll show you this video actually I watched by Siraj. It is a guide to DeepMind's StarCraft AI environment. So why did I watch that? Well, as part two of my project two for Udacity's Artificial Intelligence Nano Degree, I've got to read a paper and make a one page summary on it. And I watched this video because it goes through uh, the artificial intelligence game playing environment that was created by StarCraft and Google's DeepMind uh, to, to practice reinforcement learning. And I think that's really cool. So that's, I read the paper today as well. Actually, it took me, it took me about an hour to read this 20 page paper. Like I read it slowly. That was my plan. I'm gonna read it slowly once and then read it again with highlights and then summarize my highlights and go back over and over it. I haven't read any scientific papers in a while, since university, actually, or properly. Usually I just skim over them and whatnot. Um, so that's, well, it's really storming here. I don't know if you can hear it, but maybe you can see all the rain outside. Check that out. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I took a break from uh, the game playing coding or the coding the agent for isolation and decided to start working on part two of the project so I don't, I don't forget that. As you remember, part one is coding an artificial intelligence agent to play the game isolation with some specific rules. And part two is, of course, making that one page summary of the documentation. And it is September 22 at the moment and it's due on October 3rd. So I've got about two weeks, give or take a few days. But that'll be my focus for the rest of next week is working on project two. I'll start off on Monday and Tuesday with um, part one. But that's it for me today in terms of learning. I'm gonna tap out. I'm proud of my accomplishment for getting this certificate. It's actually really cool getting a little certificate every time you complete these courses. They don't take too long, they're only a couple of hours each or so. Um, but yeah, amazing day. I'll link all the things I just talked about, like Siraj's video, the, the DeepMind paper I was talking about in the description. And we'll catch you in next week's video.